Hello everybody and welcome to one more video on big units and this time and once again like in Zandloana I'll show you uh, um, again the same army that you've seen, the Zulu army, this time they will be the Vatua of Mozambique and this is the uh, Portuguese campaign in Mozambique in 1895. So what is new here will be the Portuguese army, some, some a few more details and uh, our old Zulu army is here again and I'll show you and I'll tell you why. I mean, this is one more um, subjugation campaign of the Europeans on their colonial territories, of course. Uh, this is almost 20 years after the, 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 the Zululand uh, campaign by the British. Uh, Isan Luana, Rourke, Drafe, all those, Kambul, all those things, which ended up, of course, with, with, uh, with the arrest of Setsuwayo. This one will also end up with the arrest of Gungunyana, which was the tribal leader that uh, made the uprising of the Vatwa against, uh, against Portuguese rule. Uh, so this campaign is, is 1895. We are around 14, 15 years after the, the Zulu land, uh, the Zulu campaign, sorry. And, uh, and of course, uh, uh, much was learned from the European powers regarding that, that campaign. In fact, the British also learned uh, how to do stuff during the campaign itself. I mean, they will not repeat the mistake of, um, of, uh, uh, of Isan Luana and they will try to form a much stronger position, this kind, of course. And, uh, and all European powers in Africa, like, like uh, Portuguese and, and French, will also do the same against their foes. So the, uh, the Portuguese uh, tactic on this, on this war was extremely curious. For instance, this square that you see here, which looks to be organized only for defense, was in fact the normal and standard um, marching order of the, of the Portuguese. It was not exactly like that, but uh, the Portuguese would form always in square, even in the march, which allowed for whatever event that could happen, it would allow for a, for a quick and swift uh, defensive position. Um, generally, they use, they use their guns, on the on the corners of the of the squares, and uh, we would use a tremendous advantage, of course, over the over the uh, our 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 enemy of those days, which was the the repetition gun, of course. Uh, on these days, uh, the Portuguese army. I mean, in in the in the in the African in the African um, units. Uh, indigenous units. They are still the Snyder, an old gun that was given by the Portuguese army to the to the to the uh, to the African auxiliaries. But nowadays, the Portuguese infantry. You can see here uh, caçadores, uh, units of caçadores um, over there also, and uh, inf uh, line infantry here would use the Kropacek, Kropacek gun, which was a, a gun that could fire something like 16, 18, 20 rounds per minute, much more, for instance, than the British Martini Henry. And it, that, this would be a, a terrifying shock for the for the Vatua. Vatua would also, as the Zulu, would also use, of course, um, weapons, but it would it would use like the Zulu much older weapons, of course, um, and they were not that good uh, using them, of course. They had not particular good training on them, so this will be a big shock. Uh, funnily enough, the, the the guns will, of course, have, have a tremendous uh, in, in impact. Uh, the machine guns, um, uh, the artillery guns, uh, seven centimeter. Um, uh, they will have. This is the the, the Nordenfeld that we'll speak later. Um, machine gun, but they were the machine gun particularly was were prone to jamming, and they were not that. Uh, the, the Portuguese soldiers were not that fond of of this kind of of device. Uh, artillery was, of course, much more much more uh, uh, useful. It was much less prone to jamming, of course. Uh, there's also some cavalry, some cavalry that we'll speak later, and um, regarding the, the Vatua, they were in fact they were Zulu affiliated. That's why you see here the famous um, the famous uh, chest and horn um, formation of the uh, of Zulu influence. Um, and this is uh, this is the tactics that they will try to always to use. They will try to come as quickly as they could to towards the Portuguese and will try to, to, to break the, the square. They managed, in fact, to do it in, in, in Marraquen, in one of the battles. There are three major events on this, on this campaign. It's the Battle of Marraquen, of, of, um, of Magul and Kulela. Uh, three big battles in which the Portuguese will use the, the, the square as defensive, as a defensive um, uh, tactics against, against the Vatua. Um, so this is a little bit the environment of the, of the campaign. 
uh, this is all along the year, virtually from February to, to, to November of, of 1895. It's a very long campaign in a very, in a very harsh terrain uh, with plenty of sick people, of course, due to the African diseases. Um, and um, it will not be that costly in terms of men for the Portuguese. For instance, it will be much less costly uh, in relation to the Portuguese than it was for the British in, 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 in the Zulu territory. Uh, and I mean, probably due to the to the to the weapons that Portuguese use. In fact, that gun that I told that sorry that rifle that I told you the Kropacek of, of Austrian design, which was extremely an extremely um, quick uh, firing gun, uh, which would devastate the the, the, the Vatua ranks. No, this is a little bit the the, the environment, kind of political and, and and tactic. Now let's see the model. So, as usual, this is mostly. Uh, equal to arms and uh, and uh, the Zulu, the Zulu, which in fact they are Zulu, but are, they are representing here the Vatua uh, tribes that made the uprising against the Portuguese, mostly uh, Eshi and uh, and uh, uh, equal to arms. Regarding the Portuguese, of course, there is no such thing as as Portuguese colonial uh, figures in in in, in plastic. Um, uh, they are mostly, as you can see here, the foreign legion by Eshi. Uh, Painted with with uh, with um, the the white the white of of the Portuguese, they would use the, the kepi and and that that uh, neck protection, um, and um, only only the officers would would have kept their 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 blue dolmens, as you can see here. Um, the infantry would would use a, a white uh, a white uh, cotton uh, uh, dress. Um, and uh, plain, plain, uh, plain um, Eshi figures, uh, the ones that don't have the, the long capot, the French capot, that the, the manteau, uh, it's also called, sorry, manteau, it's like that. Um, we, I was trying to, to, to relate the capot with capot, Portuguese word is capot, so in French is is manteau. Uh, regarding the, the other infantry, for instance, there's another, uh, Casadores, um, this one I think is Casadores also, yes, Casadores number three, um, and uh, this battalion, uh, there's a small difference, oops, again, you see some uh, Australian World War II, uh, as you can see the guy with the lower rifle, uh, standing, you see, uh, again, foreign legion with Australian hats, because Portuguese used this kind of hat also in the campaign. So this regiment was apparently using the, the, the bush hat, while the, that one over there was using the kepi. Again, an officer you can see over there with their blue dolmens. Um, other units present, for instance, were the, the African uh, caçadores. Uh, Again, some Australians, I think, and some also some some conversions. Also, you can see the guy stabbing um, someone on the floor. I mean, this guy is in fact stabbing the floor, but you and you understand what I mean. Um, and they are they were very good, also very good fighters, and um, they are again Eshi and uh, and Revel uh, Revel. This from these legs here are from that uh, Australian uh, Revel guy that is firing um, a Thompson. While running, uh, I don't know if that was a very good idea, but okay. Uh, he, here is 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 charging with his Snyder uh, gun, uh, weapon, rifle. Sorry, uh, more of the same over there. That is an infantry regiment. Uh, infantry regiment. Let me see. Uh, number two, uh, we say segundo regimento de infantaria. Uh, more more caçadores over there, and here is a very famous unit also. The as you can see the. Lorenzo Marques Police. Lorenzo Marques was the capital uh, of Mozambique, and um, here you see uh, the police of Lorenzo Marques. In fact, it was considered the best best military unit of the, of the entire campaign. Uh, you see here, of course, um, Eshi British, and also some the officer is, is a conversion, as you can see. The guy is is is, is charging uh, again. I, I think, uh, yeah, most probably. Revel, Revel, World War Two, Australian. So this is it for the infantry. Now for the artillery, all the artillery is is, is converted. You see here the 
the seven centimeter uh, gun, mountain gun that Portuguese had. Let me show you just, for instance, a good a good um, good image of it is this one that was taken from the uh, Lisbon uh, Military Museum. In fact, I I use these books. I use this kind of not these books. I use this kind of. For, for many campaigns, I always like to take notes. For instance, this is this is the organization of, of the British, uh, of the British, sorry, of the Portuguese. I'm speaking English, sorry. That's why probably the British word came. Um, so this is the organization of, of the Portuguese, the several several regiments, uh, the number of, of, of men in each company, and then the wargaming uh, related one to 10 um, forces. Uh, there is a very nice movie, a very old, I think from, the, Around 1930s, 1940s, which is Shamit. Shamit is in fact the last, last piece of action. As the British captured, captured um, Setsuwayu in Ulundi, at Ulundi, we will capture Gungunyana uh, at Shamit. It is the campaign that captured the the, the, the Vatua leader. Uh, and so the movie has this name, Shamit. Um, and I took a lot of notes from from the black and white uh, uh, movie. Because there is some 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 interesting information, okay. Um, this is the the idea. Uh, I, I do this kind of stuff for all my periods, even using movies and cinema. So when the, let's get back to the to the to the gun itself, everything is converted as you can see from plenty of origins. I mean, I think even these these wheels are from Revel Thirty Years War. I think so, yeah. And then the, the gun, the, I mean, the tube itself, I, mean, I have no idea from where it came. And uh, some the some plastic pieces in, in order to make the, 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 this contraption. The figures, the figures are the PSC Germans, World War II PSC Germans with new heads, of course. And they are serving the, the seven centimeter mountain gun. Uh, uh, regarding the uh, Nordenfeld, let's see the Nordenfeld here. Nordenfeld is again completely scratch built. Plastic tubes, small ones. Everything is again converted. Figures are again PSC, and there is a British that guy that is carrying a, a hammer box, converted to a to a Portuguese guy with a with a cappy and a neck protection. So this is it. For the there are two of each, two two guns and two machine guns. The the I mean in order to tow the 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 machine gun you have you have a mule here being pulled by a by a, a completely converted Eshi figure, and the same for the for the guns which were heavier, so they were pulled by horses or mules. Uh, and this is, all, of course, very, very. It's very. It's a pleasure to make this kind of stuff because you, you have very old pictures, and then you use, I mean, whatever you have as information in order to make this thing. But it's fairly, fairly, fairly okay. I'll show you images of that thing soon. You'll see that it's more or less, more or less okay. Um, now cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. You see here the squadron of. Uh, Mozing Albuquerque, one of the heroes of the campaign. This is a complete. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, bodies came from all over the place. I mean, I don't even remember from where they came. Really, uh, there is there. If you want to, you, you have you have a, an article on blog on, on how I made this squadron. Uh, it was really one of the most complicated things I've ever made. Uh, the rifle comes from one place, the upper torso from another one, the legs from another one, horses from another thing, the head from another one. It's it was a little bit complicated to make, but also a very pleasant, a very pleasant uh, conversion. So there are two such things. This one has the the cornet. Here they are. Uh, from uh, the end of the campaign, we received the Portuguese uh, flag. You have a stand here for command. You have, in fact, a number of, of, of commanders that you can use. That's why you have several several uh, stands of command. You have have this one on horse. Uh, we have Mozinho Lavuquerque over there. We have this one on foot for the beginning of the of the campaign. Um, and this is it regarding the Portuguese. Uh, now for that gunboat. That gunboat is also something very nice. I mean, I think it is very nice. I like it a lot. Um, and this is a complete scratch-built uh, gunboat, 
Portuguese gunboat. It is um, the gunboat that brought uh, that brought uh, uh, the squadron of of Mozinho of Kirk to the final stages of the campaign. You can see here the Portuguese sailors with several kind of guns that were used on the this is again the the Nordenfeld machine gun used as a navy gun. These are a group of you know of discs for uh, for uh, those round discs in which with which you play which game you play well, well I don't remember the name of the game but if you attach this, it in fact in fact it's the same things that I use for the for the casualty for the casualty markers or for command stands these are plastic plastic pieces that a number of them were glued and they made the wheel and a bit more of details here it I remember spending several nice hours making this thing uh, the, this problem most probably I mean uh, I think the, most of it is uh, is uh, blue board and wood some plastic chimneys and here you have it uh, regarding from where I took this information for instance if you go to if you go to this book uh, you can see, for instance, the boat I'm talking about. Let me check where it is. Around the end, there is something about... Ah, for instance, look, look, you see here the, the, the pulling of the, of the 7 centimeter mountain gun. Uh, and the boat, well, one of them is here. We had several, but this one is, this one is... Uh, gunboat capil this is the one I, I i made and you see here for instance another nice um, piece of information is the oh, let me try to show you okay like this this is the i don't know from where this wonder is maybe i don't know lisbon navy museum maybe i don't know but i took this from somewhere and this is the capello uh, gunboat the one i made it's over there. Whoops. Okay. And this is something much better, of course. Regarding modeling, this is it. What I would advise you, if you ever have interest in making this kind of of uh, of, um, of uh, uh, campaign, is to try to find this kind of books, of course, that we have. It, they, are, they are in Portuguese. Most of the people in the world would not be able to read this. But if you have a Portuguese immigrant nearby, there are plenty. So maybe you can ask them to translate at least the most important parts to you. So you see here, for instance, the Marquen, uh, campaign uh, battle. Sorry, uh, again, square, of course, always. Before that, you have plenty of very nice information about uh, Zulu ta uh, uh, Vatua tactics, Portuguese guns. You see here the a very nice drawing of the um, Nordenfeld. Uh, which helped me a lot to make the correct uh, model of it. Uh, plenty of information on the... Uh, this is the way the Northern Feld is pulled, the one I showed you, inside the square. Uh, you see here then, uh, after Marraquen, you see the fighting of Magu. Again, a little bit same story. Zul's to, uh, 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 I'm always at Zul. They were, in fact, Zul affiliated. The uh, Vatua were trying to get as fast as, as they could to the, to the square, trying to break it. They managed to break it in, in Marquen. Uh, but then the, 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 the issue was solved by a counterattack from inside the, the, the square. Uh, the casualties of, of, the, of the Vatua were so many that only a few, could, if they were tr trying to enter the, the squares, only a few entered in Marquen, something like 20 people only managed to enter into the and then they were killed of course um by a, a swift counterattack from one of the one of the um, the lines uh, generally portuguese would create a square with two to three lines of men and it would be with their superior firepower would be enough to to, to defeat their position uh, so colella is here and then you see here some very nice portraits of, of uh, Mozin Dalquerque, one of the heroes of the campaign, maybe the biggest. Um, you see here Gungunyana in, uh, in, um, in uh, this, this is him, in, uh, when in exile in Ilha Terceira, in Azores. I, I've been in this, in this, look, I've been in these steps, yeah, uh, which is funny to be there. Of course, these people, of course, were, 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 
word always uh, we are mentioning i'm not here praising what we did of course this is the one of the one of the problems of history of course is it's the way of um, the very racist way in which in the 19th century portuguese colonial powers were facing the problems in africa of course always with the tip of the gun of course and bayonet and rifles and bullets and things like that well um so i hope you have enjoyed this is the uh, this is the campaign uh, try to find uh, if you want you have here tribuna you see uh, sometimes if you come to portugal you maybe you can find some leftovers of these collections it's a very nice collection from from middle ages up to the to, to colonial war in the 20th century up to 1974 you'll find plenty of portuguese actions in those in this collection which is quite big um and maybe it 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 helps you to 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 if you want ever of course to war games such a such a thing so i i hope you have enjoyed one more video and see you next and i think next time there will i'll start i'll start to show you which will be a little bit uh, time consuming at least to place stuff on the table i'll start to show you the my iraqi armies and they are very big uh, the ones from 1991 i mean up to 2003 of course um see you soon bye bye cheers